Alright, hello everyone. This is my first ever unboxing video. Uh, I'm working with kind of a small stand, so I got the best angle I could. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I have this package here from Kandabra Records. I've been waiting for this for, I think, a little over a year now. It is the At the Mountains of Madness 6... LP Wax Mage Edition. Uh, I think Jonathan told me about this first at uh, Necrocom Necronomicon 2019, which is which was over a year ago now. So I've been waiting quite a long time for this. Oh, sorry, it's probably gonna shake because it's on the stand. Uh, so I can't wait to get into this. So let's open it. I know from the email, Jonathan said to be careful cutting into the middle, because the poster's on there. So I'll be careful. It's not the best knife for that, but... Okay. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Very nice packaging job, as always. As you can see, there's the poster in there. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a thick poster. It's pretty big. Uh, I will open that soon. And here it is. I only have the Wax Mage Edition at the moment because it was pretty expensive and I did not have the money to get both the Wax Mage and the Early Bird version. So I do plan on getting that in the future. Here's the smaller box with it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, there it is. Wow. Here, I'll take this off. There it is. Man. Looks pretty nice. Ooh, okay, so all the extras are separate. You can see how thick the box is, that's nice. Let's see these extras. Oh, wait a minute, there are two in here? What? Hang on. Okay, got that. <clears throat> okay, so... Wow, so this must be... Print, uh, which Jonathan included, I think, because um, they were really backed up at the factory. So he included this nice print, signed by the artist Jeremy Hush, 24 out of 25. Cool. It's very nice. Wow. And Jonathan has this piece of artwork, of course. I, um, I really, really wanted this piece of art, but <clears throat> I asked Jeremy if it was available, and he said it wasn't available, so I missed out on it. Oh, so this is... It looks signed by Chris Pizzone. Looks just like a nice print. You can see it there. Let's put that in that. So I have, I seem to have two boxes. I'm not sure. 
Not sure why. I just got the wax mage, I thought. Let's open one. There, I didn't think one came automatically with the subscription. Pretty sure it didn't. So let's see. Let's see what the deal is. Unwrapped. See the bottom. Let's angle this better. Okay. It's pretty squeaky. Booklet. Wow. Very nice. Liner notes by S. S. T. Joshi. If I'm saying that right. Ooh, that's nice. So yeah, that's the the cover art for the themes from hell, and also. On the cover of this. It's really, really nice by Jeremy Hush. Uh, oh, cool. It has little sections for Chris Bazone and, and Andrew Lehman. Nice. Really cool. All right, so that's the booklet. <clears throat> so, the records are in two triple gatefold sleeves, which is what these are. Ooh, nice. The bottom of the box has that artwork on it. That's nice. Okay. So, let's see what's in here. Yeah. So, when you put... These two triple gatefolds together, it makes the the full art, I believe. It's like a puzzle. I'm not sure which way to put them. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, let's see if this is the wax mage. <clears throat> there we go with the mountains of madness. Sorry, my roommate just came out. So this is nice white with blue. This camera angle sucks, sorry. Can you kind of see that? I don't really remember what colors the early bird variant were. I thought they were like brown and white or something. So I'm not sure what that is. I could be wrong though. So let me put this back. Next one. Okay, so this one is also kind of white with blue. It's more of a splatter effect than the last one. But the third one is probably going to be the same thing. I also could just be misremembering since it's been so long. Maybe I did order two? I could have swore I didn't order two. And I don't think one came with a subscription. Because that would have been way more expensive, so I don't know. So yeah, the third one is also kind of white with blue. It's very pretty. Nice. But we have three more. 
I wonder if they'll be the same. It's kind of tough to get back in there. So that's the first triple gate fold. That's the second one. Yeah, I don't have the best camera angle to show off the full artwork put together either. So there's more artwork there. Next vinyl. All right, another kind of white with blue. So the last two are probably going to be the same, so I won't open them. Just stick that back. So that's the first box, which makes me pretty excited for the second one, because that has to be the wax mage. Oh, this was. So snug fit. Wax Mage. Let's see. I'm also not going to edit this or anything. I don't know how to. This will just be a raw video. Very snug. Right, another booklet. Here we go. I am very, very excited. So, he showed one picture of the wax mages, but they're all going to look different. So, I have no idea. Ooh. You can see kind of black and looks like maybe a little white there. Ooh, this might be cool. Oh, oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. That is sick. Oh my gosh. Let's see the back side. That is a beautiful, beautiful vinyl. Oh my gosh. Wow, I can't even get it all in frame. This camera sucks. The angle sucks. Wow. Man, even if it was just this, I would be so satisfied with that. That is beautiful. Wow. But there's five more. So let's keep going. Wow. Gosh, this is so exciting. That was really good. That was a good first one. That was beautiful. So I'm just trying to slip it back in. Okay. All right, let's do the middle one. Sorry if you can hear my roommate in there yelling. Okay. Here's the next one. Ooh. Sorry, I'm, I can't really show you as I open it. Wow. Here's the next one. Wow. I love the variation in all these. That's awesome. 
very swirly on the back side. Ooh. So first one was really black, this one's really white. It's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, it wouldn't be as fun if all the wax mages looked the same. So I'm glad that they all look different from one another. Wow, lots of colors in that. It's very nice. Stick that back in. I have to take all these out again later anyway to take pictures, but it's okay. <clears throat> oh, this one's kind of... This one's giving me trouble. Let's do it this way. Third one. Let me try to open it on camera. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. These are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so cool. Gosh, these wax mages are out of this world. Holy cow. Wow. Man. I could just look at that forever. That's beautiful. Okay. But there's still three more, so we gotta keep going. I have to go to work after this too. How am I gonna concentrate all day? Okay. Ooh, all right, so we see some red here. Damn, lots of different colors, it's very cool. Ooh, hoo -hoo. That's crazy. Wow, it's like a quarter wax mage, kind of. Ooh, you can see the back. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh. This is too much. It's too much to handle. This is super crazy. I've seen like half wax mage, never a quarter. I wonder how, I wonder if that was on purpose or what. Pretty crazy. Look at that, though. That is so nice. Wow. I think so far, the first one was my favorite, though. I love that black splatter. That was really cool. Okay. Middle one. Ooh, so there's a little bit of yellow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. It's like rainbow. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Wow. That's beautiful. Loving the variety. I love the variety of all these. Wow. That is so pretty. Wow. Okay. I also want to keep them in order, too. That's why I'm putting them all back. Very last.
last one. Even if this was completely clear, I would still be happy with everything else. This has been pretty amazing. Got a little bit of warp, a white edge. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, that's insane. Wow, I haven't seen one this crazy since the Canterville Ghost. That is insane. Wow. Man, this, this one might be tied for my favorite. This one's really cool. Man, that is pretty sick. Wow. So, um, I know my art print said 24 out of 25. I'm not sure if that means that this box set was number 24 out of 25 wax mage box sets, probably. Um, also, uh, when they were first sold, it said there were only 10 available. I don't know if there were 25 made and only 10 were available for sale, or what? So, yeah, I'm not sure. So we'll go, we'll just say I have 24 out of 25. That's safe to say. All right, so um, I don't know if I'll make another one of these anytime soon. Uh, I do collect a lot of stuff, so it would be nice to kind of show everybody. But thanks for watching this one.